Russia's agreement with OPEC to extend oil production cuts thus far has failed to lift prices. If prices don't rise from current levels, of how much good will that agreement be to the economy? Oh, it's not failed at all, because if you look at the price levels that we saw a year ago before the first agreement between Russia and OPEC, they were much, much lower. The agreement is already reaching uh, what it intended to reach, is declining the inventory levels across the globe. That's what we're targe targeting. We're targeting tighter short-term end of the curve. The other thing that I do not understand, for example, uh, why the uh, uh, you know, mid-term, long-term uh, forwards are priced that high. And uh, what is the strategy of those hedge funds that are taking risk from the shale producers for one year, for two years? Because the risks are there. The, which risks specifically? Uh, the oil prices within one to two years might be uh, much lower. And uh, those funds that are on the other side of the deals, on the hedging for one, for two years, they're taking huge risks. Is that your expectation, that once this extension is over, oil prices will drop substantially? Yeah, we we'll see a substantial risk for oil prices in medium to longer term. We will do everything that is possible to bring the inventory levels to low levels and make uh, the market tight on the short end of the curve. But long end, it's a, it's a big story. Now, if that doesn't happen, what do you do? Do you extend the cuts even more? Well, first of all, from the Russian economy perspective, we uh, does not depend on the oil prices uh, as much as we were uh, five, ten years ago. It's still important, though. Well, not that much, because, you know, all macroeconomic policy is now based on the assumption of oil price of 40. So this is the key assumption. And, you know, fiscal policy, policy on the fixed market, they are all based on this, this assumption. And we are actually ready to live for forever, actually, with oil prices 40 or below. You're ready to live forever with $40 or less? It's not a problem for us.